Hi, this is Janine. Today we will talk about which word to stress when you're having a conversation. Which word to stress can vary depending on the context, so there's no cookie cutter answer to this question. In this video, we will talk about how a stressed word can be changed based on the context of the conversation. We will also talk about how to put stress on a word. So we'll play some scenarios. The first scenario is where Dan is not at the party even though he promised to be there. Kent is upset about Dan not being there. How come Dan is not here yet? Oh, I think he said he'd show up at 5. Here, Kent is upset over the fact that Dan is not here yet. So the word not is being stressed. In my answer, I stress that Dan has said that he's going to be there at 5. Perhaps it's not 5 o'clock yet. Let's look at another scenario. Here, Kent is wondering why Dan is not here yet, even though Ray, Jard, and Julie are already here. So this conversation may sound like this. How come Dan is not here yet? He said to show up at 5. This time, Dan's name is stressed because the focus of the conversation is where about Dan is. Now let's take a closer look at how words are stressed. When a word is stressed, you typically stress the vowel in the stressed syllable. You may even stretch or pronounce the vowel in a higher or lower tone to stress it. You can also combine both. Here are some examples. I love chocolate. 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 So here are the takeaways of this lesson. One, be sure to stress what is relevant to the context of the conversation. Two, be sure to stress the vowel in the stressed syllable when you stress a word. Three, when you stress a word, you can apply either higher or lower tone or prolong the sound. Thank you for watching. Please click the link below. Bye!